Alrighty guys and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I've got my hood on, it's raining. This is the first time ever I've done a review, what well, I'm doing a review, in the rain, in the dark, but there's a reason behind it. The car that I'm doing is a Mark 4, Mark, no, sorry, Mark 4, Mark 5 Golf GTI, one of a kind. I mean, obviously there's a few out there, but you, it's like very rare that you come across something like this. So anyway, let's just get straight into it. This is Saeed, and this is Saeed's GTI Mark V Golf, 2 litre TFSI, they come standard 200 brake, but this obviously is not 200 brake Saeed isn't it? It's not, This Something is completely different, Yeah. I thought you know what, no one really has it, yeah. but I bought it as a show, yeah. completely nothing, yeah. damaged, airbags blown, front hole, left corner, that's why the whole car is a multicolour because a lot of panels are damaged. <laughs> Still got more multicolor panels to put on, like yeah. the tailgate, my side square, ED30 lit. Still need to put them on. Yeah, but it is what it is, isn't it? So, so I thought I looked around, searched around everywhere. No one has a four-wheel drive GTI. So I thought, Do you know what? That sounds like a good shout. So yeah, I just packed on, bought stuff, I got the Bolly King for spending money. <laughs> by my parents. I think everyone, everyone, everyone gets a Bolly King, isn't it? Everyone gets a Bolly King. That's standard. So, so yeah, done it. How long? Like eight, nine, probably nearly one year. I have to work on this car with a full rebuilt engine. And we're talking for, literally bottom all the way to the top in it, like literally. To so currently the car is on low boost, not fully mapped yet, but I've got a map on the car to drive it around with my KO4. Yeah. Okay, and that's another that's another mod up upgrade that you've done as well, isn't it? That's another full upgrade. KO4 full upgrade. Full KO4 conversion. The map. I think it's pushing around 310 because I done a custom tuned rolling road map. Yeah. So it's not um, it's not pu it's, it's not pushing its full it's, potential it's yet, not, is it? Yeah, it's not pushing its full potential. Yeah. And I still need to do my dyno run on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Hopefully next month the car is fully mapped. Yeah. Obviously, we've gone to a few meets and I'll put the link up in the description just there or there somewhere. Um, we went to that meet. Yeah, team B and B meet together. So I've sat in this car before when it was four-wheel drive but no boost he disconnected the n75 and it was no boost nothing now it's connected turboed boost literally you name it it's got it and yeah so obviously everything is going to be sprayed right yeah, the whole car is he's getting it all sprayed i'm not sure what gray color or what color to go for yet yeah still thinking about it i want to keep the so look. look he's thinking about it it's a good time for you guys to throw your little opinions in the description below and obviously help him choose the colour. But yeah, obviously there's more mods on the car like eye back springs, 35mm drop, yeah. pony shot, yeah. um, Revo intake, go far brakes, 19 plate off a Mark 7 go far, okay. at the front. Yeah. At the back, I've got the Audi S3 8P model, the pre facelift, axle, rare, rare brake. Rear brakes set up, yeah, and the four wheel drive system is off a Audi S3 pre facelift as well. So it's the Gen 2, I think it's the Gen 2 Handlex system in okay. there. 
Wiring was a nightmare. <laughs> took me a good few months to figure out how to wire it up. Yeah. But mechanically wise, it took me a couple of weeks to put it on. Yeah. But there's a lot of graft that you have to do. You cut the spare wheel out, so you have to sacrifice the spare wheel underneath the car. So, so basically what you're saying is if if, if a tire pops, if God forbid, pop tire, God forbid it tire, doesn't happen, but if it does, happens, we're stranded. I'm stranded. <laughs> oh, man. Shit! It's crazy, it's crazy shit going on. Yeah. Underneath the car, there where the prop shaft bracket mounts onto the body, yeah. I had to weld that on. Obviously, I had to get in the place where I work, I had to get my main mechanic to go and get to get the welding done. Yeah, while I sit inside the car up in the air with the air blower just in case if it doesn't catch on fire because I just literally strip out everything from the interior the carpets, the floor mat, what you call underneath everything literally everything then i thought you know what it's a good time to give the actual body a clean yeah so when, like when, when, when i mean literally this was like a rolling shell complete bone stock rolling shell like it was mad and he's literally built this car ground up like this car was battered you bought the car it was battered it as was a right as a complete write-off like every what well, every panel was just damaged and, like you can still see there's you can more still, yeah. There, obviously man. there's a few few dinks and dents here and there but obviously like I said he is getting it all done so there will be a part two make sure you guys stay tuned he's getting all that done and obviously his wheels that you know he's he's upgrading the wheels these are just temporary bear in mind he drives this car every single day he's not one of them guys that builds a car leaves it on the driveway and you know admires it nah this guy is an animal like he drives his car the way he's built it and you know what i just i ain't gonna lie it's proper juicy <laughs> i spent so much money in three days just yeah. on fuel and Love obviously i just can't get overdone with the power slightly getting bored slowly yeah but next stage numbers i'm not gonna mention yeah but i am gonna go for more power second stage and thinking about third stage with a crazy power mad this guy's mad. Anyone that wants Mark V work done, I'll put his Instagram in the description below. Hit him up. Any questions you want to know, hit him up. Any upgrades you want to look into doing, hit him up. He's your guy. Like I've had work done from him. Like cam, what, what was it? Cam chain and cam tensioner, and tensioner service. service, all of that. Like I strictly go to him from Mark V. He, he knows inside out. Like, you can probably do it with his eyes closed. Probably in it. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, listen, without any further ado, I'm not gonna waste your time, what are you saying? It's raining, man. It's raining Let's as well. Let's do this. Let's get straight into it. Oh, oh my God. Yo. Drove this car when it was no boost. It was 
same passenger. Now it's probably the second time, isn't it? Today's gonna second be the time be, yeah. yeah. Today's gonna be the first time she's so sitting in this chair and I'm in that chair. But if I'm honest with you, out, I'm probably not gonna give it as much the way he does because obviously he knows his car inside out. I'm probably gonna be a little bitch when I'm driving this. Hey man, I'm still running on budget tires. <laughs> to God, I'm shitting myself. Just 
I've been inside of a thousand brake horsepower, 700 brake horsepower Skylines. Yeah. Obviously, my mates in them now, that's it. watching this video and you like you already know what this car's about like for me this is the first time and you said to me you remember he goes to me once this is done and you drive it you're you're not gonna have no words to say i genuinely have nothing to say like i'm just shocked like, i'm so overwhelmed like, i don't even know what to say like, it's just a mad a lot of people loves it when it shifts gear at high speed high yeah. revs not speed but high revs yeah. the exhaust pops that's the best thing you know what, that's, that's how I like when a car bangs or when it pops, when you change gears. You know how sometimes you just, and it's bang, 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 bang. No, that's not for me, man. When, when you change gear and it goes bang, 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 and then that's when you know, yeah. Guys, if you're gonna have dirty power, you need to have dirty brakes as well. And you can't do these stock brakes and serious power, like, you can't. Bye. 
guys, video has come to an end. I want to say a big thank you to everyone. I want to say a big thank you to Seed. Stay tuned for part two. Part two is going to be a madness. I promise you that. Hopefully, part two, part two gives me that fear in the passenger seat. <laughs> Currently, there's nothing wrong. Yeah. Part two is going to be a complete madness. But yeah, I want to say a big thank you to everyone. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. If you're, if you, if you're already subscribed to the channel, you know what, you guys already know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button. And on that bombshell, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.